<laughs> the Lord be with you. Thank you very much. Wonderful to be with you for this collective worship. I should have been in the playground, um, but it's just starting to rain. And so that Mr. Bowman and I thought we'd better to record you something, then you can watch it in the dry, which is nice. It's a bit cold as well. Look who is here. All the chucks. That is Pablo. Pablo, our cockerel. And they are lovely. They're laying well. And here is their food. I'm just going to give them some food. Here we go. There you go, chucks. They love it. Feed them up to my hand as well. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? That's, hey, that's Miranda. That's Tina. That's Pablo. That's Pip, the brown one over there. A few more there. Lovely. They can have the rest of that. There you go, you lot. The reason I showed you that is because I've been feeding lots of birds lately because my study um, has a bird table just outside it which I've built and I thought I'd show it to you so I'm just going to put this back in the shed that's where I keep it down there ah so I'm on my own today so I've got to do all my own filming but that's all right so uh who fancies seeing some worms worms oh, look, oh there's there's India a dog Hey India. There you go. And that's your that's the school over there. I can hear I can hear lunchtime already. Over the fence there. But uh, this is my this is my bird table that I've built. And uh, see this is the back of the house. That's my study there. We're gonna be in there in a minute. That's where I sit, do all my work. And this is the bird table. And uh, this one here is where the great tits and the blue tits come and that one there as well. This is where goldfinches come because those are special niger seeds. Usually there's some fat balls in there, some lard, and that's where the crows and the magpies come. And then on here, that's a nice sheltered one there. And these are to keep the pigeons off because they eat loads. So that's where we have robins on there and dunnocks and various other things come on there. And then down here, this is what I'm going to top up uh, that's what some birds like to feed on the ground rather than on the top of a table. So, so I'm doing all this one handed, but there we are. They're the worms in there. But these are these are dead dried worms. But they love those, so I'm gonna put a few of those in there. And the robins and the dunnocks will go in there and feed. And then over here, this is where the blackbirds go, because they like feeding off the ground. And that's the bird table that I made. Chiseled out a little hole in there. So put the lid back on this so that. Ah, right. Now, you probably know what a blackbird looks like. You probably know what a robin looks like. But I wonder if you know what a great tit looks like. Or a goldfinch. Or a woodpecker. Well, that's what we're going to have a look at now. Back inside the house. There we go, up through here. And, oh, there's India again. Did she get there so quickly? Say hello, India. That's India saying hello. Here's my study. Bit of a mess today, but that's okay. Right. So, those are blue tits. Aren't they beautiful? Blue tits, because they've got that lovely blue cap on their head. And there's... There's my feeder there. So the blue tits go onto that one and that one. That's where they eat. I'm hoping there's somebody will come, some bird will come while we're here. Okay, the next one, that's a great tit. So that's got, it's got a lovely white patch there. You can tell in a lovely yellow at the bottom there. And the great tits, they hang off, they hang off that one a lot and that one as well. And sometimes they go onto the onto the table itself. What have we got next? That's a coal tit. They're slightly smaller than great tits. They've got quite big heads, but they're beautiful. They're black and white. And again, they go on to they go onto that one there. Oh, I can't it's going out of focus. There it is. Go they go onto the swinging ones mainly. Uh, what else have we got? 
know what that is? That's a woodpecker. And the woodpeckers go on to the fence over there, that fence over down there. And I put some stuff, they, they eat the grubs out of there. And I have seen one down here as well. So that's a woodpecker, they're lovely. And that is a goldfinch, isn't that beautiful? That's it, he's flying, you can see all its yellow. Oh look, there we go, look. There's a robin on there. I don't know if I can zoom in, look there. A robin, and that's the only one I haven't got a picture of. So there's a real robin for you to look at. Eating those worms I just put on there. I'll just come up and see. There you go. Amazing, that's what I love. I love sitting here watching them feed. There we go, it's gone now. So that goldfinch there. That is so beautiful. Look at those lovely yellow feathers. And sometimes they, well, they they feed on that one there because that's a special one just for goldfinches. And there, that's got a tiny seeds called Niger seeds. And sometimes when they're standing on there, they'll just stretch their wings out. And you see all these lovely yellow feathers and that lovely red cap. They're so beautiful. So we had, if you remember, we had the woodpecker. That's got lovely red on it. And the goldfinch that was lovely and then the last one I want to show you is this and that's a dunnock and the dunnocks go with the robins they go onto that one there and the blackbirds go in there but the dunnocks go there and if you look they haven't got any of the fancy stuff they haven't got, they haven't got all the yellow and the red of the of the goldfinch or the woodpecker with those lovely spots dunnocks look a bit well, a bit dull really should be called dullock but I absolutely love them because they're not flashy and yet they're the sort of bravest ones. They, they go down and they have a lovely feed. And even though they haven't got amazing feathers, I really love, well, they have, they've got lovely brown feathers. I love looking at them. And one of the things that I love about the bird table is it reminds me of a bit where Jesus is walking out in the country and the disciples have already been talking about about worrying about stuff and Jesus says look don't worry look look at the look at the birds and I imagine he pointed and he saw birds not feeding on the table but feeding on the ground and he said look at the birds of the air they don't do anything to to get their food that but God looks after them God looks after them and they're beautiful because that's how God has made them and why I love that is because God looks at us and says look at you you, yes, of course you were. There are things that we have to worry about, but you never need to worry about my love because I will always love you. Whether you feel like you're an amazing goldfinch with lovely yellow feathers or whether you just feel like you're a lovely dunnock. So I feel I'm a dunnock. I'm a dunnock. God loves you for who you are and all the different ways that I feed the birds. God feeds us in all the different ways that we need. Consider the birds of the air, says Jesus. They neither toil nor spin, and yet they are the most beautiful things because God made them beautiful. And God made you beautiful and loves you so, so much. So hopefully I'll see you soon when it's not raining. It's Midsummer's Day and it's freezing, but it's been lovely to be with you. Let's, where, you, where you're sitting now in your class, just, just pause. And you might like to open your hands on your lap and just look at your hands. Just like I was feeding our hens earlier. Loving God, thank you that you feed us with your love. And that your love comes to us in so many different ways. Right now, we thank you for one another and for the way that our friendships feed us so much. We thank you for our teachers and all members of staff the way that they help us they feed us with our education and all the things that they do for us and we love you god and we thank you that you're with us in jesus name amen we'll see you soon bye bye god bless